Hey guys, uh, I wanted to start my video today out sharing some Christmas cards I got in the mail. Um, I don't want to tack it at the end of the video because I'm scared maybe people won't watch that long and they'll miss that I got their Christmas card. So I'm going to put it here at the beginning and I'm not going to be on camera because I look terrible because yesterday was a rough day and today I was like, I'm just lounging around doing nothing, doing nothing to myself. So, all right, first card is from... I think it says BJ, Natalie and Walter. I can make out Natalie and Walter, but I'm not sure if the first one is BJ. So Natalie, please forgive me if I got that wrong. Uh, here's the card they sent. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> Thank you guys for the card. The next one is from Richard and Betty Peck. Here's the card. And they sent a gift inside for the boys. Uh, they said enclosed, uh, use the enclosed as needed for the boys, including Kitty and Merlin. So thank you so much, Richard and Betty. Appreciate it. Okay, and then the next package we got was from Carol. And she had sent me a uh, package earlier with some sample scarves to know what size to make the boys because she wanted to make them Christmas scarves. So let me share with you the Christmas scarves she sent the boys. And they're adorable. Look at that. Christmas scarves for the boys. One for each of them. Thank you so much, Carol. They are adorable and I can't wait for them to wear them. I'll have to try. I'll get them on video with them on. And I'm going to try to take a picture with them with it on too on Christmas Day. Thank you so much, Carol. All right, guys. Let's get on with the um, today's video. Oh, I also wanted to say thank you, Patty and Karen, for joining us on Patreon. I don't think I've officially said that yet on a video. Thank you, Patty and Karen. Um, thank you to the anonymous donor on our PayPal for a donation towards the boys' medical bills. I appreciate it so, so much. Um, yeah, so let's get on with the rest of the video, and you'll find out why my day was so hectic yesterday. All right, guys, just got done switching my laundry around. Thought I'd take a break from making out Christmas cards. My rear end hurts from sitting there so long. <laughs> Thought I would give you a quick update on Milo, who you can see is over here on his perch. This is his favorite spot during the day to watch for squirrels out in the backyard. They've already been out multiple times while I've been sitting there doing Christmas cards, um, chasing squirrels. The squirrels have been, it's kind of... It's mild temps today, so the squirrels have been crazy in the yard today. So Milo is doing great. He woke up the day yesterday, the day after his dental, after having all those teeth pulled and acted like nothing had ever happened. <laughs> he was chasing squirrels, barking, sticking his nose under the fence. He had no cares about what had happened and he's been doing great. Yes, he has. Um, all the other boys are doing great as well. Um, yesterday we had an issue. I wanted to give an update on that too. Uh, in case you've seen the community post here on YouTube or my Facebook post about kitten. Yesterday, my daughter and I got up in the morning. It was about seven and she came out of the bathroom and said, mom, there is blood leading from the cat box to the stairs to go upstairs and I was like oh no it must be kitten because the night before kitten did not want to eat dinner we eventually got him to eat some dinner but he didn't want to eat and whenever an animal doesn't want to eat usually something is wrong um so um I had fed him a little bit of breakfast before we noticed the blood and I ended up finding that thrown up in one of the cat boxes uh too so um yeah so found kitten he was upstairs and checked him over and noticed he had some leakage like urine leakage and it was tinged with blood coming from his pee pee hole back when kitten was four or five he had a surgery to where they had to change his pee pee basically from a male pee pee to a lady pee pee <laughs> because he had bad crystals and it was blo blocking he couldn't pass them through um so they made the hole bigger 
I know this is TMI. Um, I don't know the exact name for the surgery, um, but ever since then, he's had no problems. He's been on a urinary tract um, formula cat food, and he's had no more issues with passing crystals if he, if he gets any. There's been no issues there. But um, So anyways, found him. He, we noticed the leakage in the, the blood, so my husband went straight to the vet at 8 o'clock. They don't open till nine, but I know they have the doors open for drop-offs for surgeries or any dentals in the morning. So I knew he'd be able to get in there. Um, so he got there, texted him and said, Tom Farrell, it's an emergency. And they ran right out to the car. I think they probably thought it was Milo since he had just had dental and all those teeth removed. But um, they got him in. Um, they were so kind to let him come in and they started doing blood work and checking kitten over. Um, and we found out through the blood work that he has stage two kidney failure, which doesn't have anything to do with what was happening with the blood and the urine leakage. But, um, we did find that out with the blood work and then they did a, I don't know if it was a x-ray or a scan. I'm not sure. Ultrasound. I'm not sure. My husband was there and found out he had, um, thickening of the bladder walls. Um, so they're assuming what was going on with him was called, well, this is the abbreviation F as in Frank, I C, and I will take, I will type the name on the screen here. Basically what that is, is the thickening of the bladder walls, inflammation. And I guess with that inflammation and the thickening, it can stretch or irritate blood vessels. And that's what causes, um, there to be some signs of blood in the urine. They don't know what causes this. They've done um, tests with anti-inflammatories and studies and that doesn't anti-inflammatories don't really help. So the thing they can give them is pain medication. They gave him a liquid gabapentin to take for pain. Um, but they said this will usually take care of itself on its own. Sometimes cats will have this and you'll never even know. Um, I think if I remember right when my daughter was reading it to me, that um, most of the times it'll resolve itself within five days, um, three to five days or something like that. Um, well, look at you guys messed up my pillows. So they asked me, has there been any new stress in the house, like new, new people in the house? Have we had visitors staying with us? Um, I said the only stress is probably my dogs, but... <laughs> He's been around my dogs for a long time, but maybe this has been going on because it can reoccur. Maybe it's happened before and we just didn't know. Um, maybe he never had the blood in the urine. I don't know. Um, I said the only dog I would think that would cause him stress is maybe Grant because Grant likes to chase kitties. Um, but kitten's downstairs all the time and he just kind of steers clear of them. So I'm not totally for sure, but she said it could be stress. Um, it could be other things. They don't know what causes it. So, um, so got his gabapentin, brought him home. I have seen no blood leakage since, uh, that morning, yesterday morning. He's went pee. I can find him. Let me, um, show you where I can find him. I've got the door cracked now because he's been doing great. He doesn't want to come out though. He's been just kind of staying in there, hanging in there. <laughs> um, we have a second, it's just a small little bathroom over here. And I have this door strap on here so that the boys cannot get in here. It's just wide enough for the kitties. But I had him confined in here with the door completely shut. No, 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 no. You go away. <laughs> he wants to go in there. Um, I had it completely shut to keep him away, keep Merlin out too. That way I could keep an eye on his potty business uh, while he was in here. Um, but now that he's been doing good and I know he's peeing and there's been no blood, I, <laughs> Hey, Hey, stop it. You're all outside the door. Like, why are you in there, mom? Who are you talking to? Um, so yeah, I needed to make sure he was doing his business and he is, he's going pee, he's drinking water, he's eating. Um, he's been relaxing. I also bought one of these diffusers here that is for kitties. It releases a pheromone 
that mama kitties give off. You can't smell it, but the kitties can smell it. And he's been sniffing it and rubbing on it and loving it. Yes, he has. Just helps keep them calm and relaxed. Um, but Merlin's in here now too. I had a bed in here with a blanket for kitten. I brought a blanket in for Merlin and they love laying right by that heater too. <laughs> yes, they do. So we put the kitty box in the shower, small little shower here. Got all my stuff there. Um, we don't really use the shower. It's really small. Covered up the drain. Need to vacuum up some kitty litter. Um, so he has his own little area here in the bathroom. Um, they said kind of keep him calm, stress-free environment. I had a whole setup upstairs for him, and he was miserable. He would not stop meowing meowing slash howling it was horrible and I thought my daughter because my daughter's room's upstairs I said she's never gonna be able to sleep tonight I'm like what else can I do where can I put this and I'm like I'm just putting him in the small bathroom and that's gonna be his little area and we'll only be able to use this bathroom in case of emergency <laughs> um so he's been doing great in here and he's been loving it he's been calm um like I said no more bleeding no more leakage He's been going potty. He's been eating his kitty food. We had to get him a special kidney care food, prescription strength, and he loves it. I ordered some more on Chewy, um, and he's he's been doing great since yesterday morning. So hopefully this uh, issue solved. Um, I didn't give him any pain meds this morning because he don't seem to be in pain. He's been walking around. He's been rubbing on me. He's been wanting me to pet him, and he's been so lovey. And he, he seems fine. So I, they said only give it to him as needed. So um, I think he's he's comfortable. So, and of course, he has water in here, too. Yes. What are you? What? <coughs> Why are you guys got to be so nosy? <coughs> well, let me turn this light off. Why you got to be so nosy? This little strap I got it on <coughs> Amazon. It's called a, um, I think it's called a door, <coughs> door buddy. Um. <coughs> Because I had put a cat box down here for him before all this happened because we thought maybe he was having some problems with his joints. Got him on Cosequin. But put a cat box downstairs because usually the cat boxes are upstairs. And thought maybe that'd be better for him um, in case he's downstairs and climbing those stairs um, since his legs are kind of bad. So, um, yeah, that door strap is wonderful because I had some doggies. Mr. Mozzie and Milo trying to eat kitty poop. Yes, I did. Yes. We had some nosy schnauzers in the kitty box. So I'll link that down below in case you got kitties and dogs too and you need to keep a dog away from the cat litter. It's wonderful. And I think it was only like $12. It was cheap. It Because I couldn't find a gate to fit that spot because the doorway is so small. So um, anyways, so... Kitty's doing good. Thanks for all your prayers. I had posted it on Facebook and our community page here on YouTube. So if you're not checking the community page here on YouTube, make sure you check it because that's where I can update you guys quickly on anything going on with the dogs or the cats. Um, because making a video, uploading a video, getting it all done can take hours. And posting on the community page or on our Chanel's Ramon Facebook page is so much quicker and faster to let you guys know what's going on. So, um, yeah, so tomorrow I got to go to the vet too. <laughs> so it'll be my third time this week going to the vet because I got to take Magnum and I've got to take Mr. Grant to the vet. Magnum has to get just a heartworm test. Um, that'll be easy. Mr. Grant has to have a physical and some senior blood work done. So that might be a little bit more tricky because we all know Mr. Grant's temperament, so I'll definitely have to take his muzzle with me because they're going to be checking him over and poking him. Um, so, yeah, I told the vet, I said, maybe you should just send me home with an application, too, I could fill out. I could work part-time. I could clean kennels. I could uh, clean rooms in between patients. I, <laughs> I could love on dogs that are in the kennels that have had surgery, check on them. I could do some work for you guys and put it on my account. Just just put, just put, credit my account for future medical costs. <laughs> I said I'm here all the time. Why not just stay a couple hours and work, you know, make some money. <laughs> I may have to, guys. I may have to. Um, anyways, all right, guys. I'm going to go finish my 
Christmas cards and um, do a little bit of housework. Keep an eye. Get up there, Marley. Keep an eye on the patients, Milo. Milo, he's he's fine. And uh, keep an eye on Kitten throughout the day, see how he's doing. And uh, yeah, that's going to be my day today. So, all right, guys, we will see you in the next video. Ooh, the lighting. My camera's trying to focus. All right, guys, bye.